All right, what's going on guys? I'm Fox here from Fox Fishing 4K. So today we're out on Georgian Bay and I'm just going to show some of the options for clips. So here, this is like a Scotty offshore clip. A lot of people don't know. This is the soft setting. If you ever want to change that up. Oh, sorry, there's the soft setting. This is the hard setting that tightens up your clamp. The only problem with these clamps are they're really, really easy to use and you can have a long lead so you can pull them into your boat, clip your line, send them out. The problem with these though is if you really want to torque your rod and bend it right over so that when the fish bites it pulls up a lot of line you have to bury your line in this clip really really tight so that way you can really load that rod up but when you get a small lake trout or a small king salmon we call them shakers they have a hard time pulling out of this clip and if your rods loaded right up you won't even see that little bite so what i recommend is running either a blacks uh, they call it a blacks or a chamberlain this is one here. You can set the tension for the release for pulling back for a fish, as well as dialing this nut here to set the tension for popping up to the top. So I can have this maxed out and have this very, very light. So what ends up happening is for the top, I can load that rod right over, have the rod basically touching the water. And then back here, a tiny little lake trout or a little shaker, it can just pull that back and it pops off. So uh, I'll set this up and I'll show you guys exactly how to do it. Another thing what you guys want to do when you're setting up your downriggers and your clips, a lot of people see on the cannonballs, like we're running torpedoes, there's a hole in the back. A lot of people will run their clips off the torpedo. Never do this. What happens is this is in the water and you start cranking down your rod. What ends up happening with your pancake cannonball torpedoes is as you load that rod up, you're actually pulling your cannonball up like this and it's tracking like this through the water, which you don't want. So never attach your clip to the cannonball either right here a foot above whatever you want to do but definitely don't ever attach to this so the chamberlain we're not using these guys if you're a beginner try those uh, if you're out and you're getting a lot of smaller fish or uh, false releases switch to one of these I try not to bend the metal too too much if you start bending it out too too much it weakens it so I want it just enough to get onto my snubber make sure that's locked on run this guy onto here okay okay the one drawback about these clips is oh, look at this cannonball for a sec this cannonball is not supposed to be on this side of the boat quick note see that curve on there this cannonball is tracking this way and it's got a curve like this that cannonball is going to curve into the boat this one is specific for this side of the boat so at some point, someone was hooking these on when we had, and put the wrong one on. Yeah, that one's bent this way to pull it outward. All right, let's hook this guy on. And we'll throw that in the water. So, like I said, one of the drawbacks of running the Chamberlain or the Black's clips is you do have to reach over the boat a little bit in order to put your line on there. I've got basically rainbow moonshine. It's the uh, magnum size. Fish are biting really good on that right now on Georgian Bay. I've got a bunch of uh, fluoro lead on that. I'm gonna run this out. And I'm going basically almost to my braid. I got braid on this line. Normally I run just all fluoro, but Got what we got so in order to set this you have your line i grab it here like this i make a loop and they recommend four or five twists so one two three four or five that's all you need hold that i'll pull this clip up to show you guys you pop this open you hook this loop on here and you snap that back into place hold your line tight you'll see all those twists there you go that's set now one thing good about this, turn this guy on. Oh, my damn Scotties. Those counters always go on me. Dead because of rain. All right, well, we're going to use our sonar for seeing our depth. But what we want to do now is send that guy down. I'm going to watch on the graph because our counter's not working. See if we can see it anywhere. Can you see it at all? Yeah, I can see it. Oh, yeah, you're right. 
probably 70s? Yeah, 70s. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, one thing good about this clip now, it's got a hairline trigger. Small fish bites it, it's going to pop it off. But one of the best things about it, I can take this line and I can just load that rod right up. Right now, if I was running a clip, that's as much as I would be loading it up. But this, I can crank it right down. All that line that I'm just reeling in right now is extra line I don't have to reel. So I got that rod loaded right up. Now, that tiny little fish bites, that rod's loaded up so much, it's gonna set that hook basically on that fish. We don't even have to do much. So definitely helped us get a lot more bites and a lot more fish in the boat. So let's get the other one set up. I hate those stupid counters, man.